everyone welcome back to my channel i thought that i would actually do a playing with makeup video for you guys i was just gonna do like a normal get ready with me video because i'm doing foundation review at the moment but i was kind of just like doing my concealer and i was like no i actually just really want to chat so i was like you know what i'm just gonna bring out the camera and just talk to you guys while i oh my god <laughs> while i don't fling my beauty blender over my shoulder um but yeah, I just thought that I would talk to you guys while I'm doing my makeup because, I don't know, I just feel like the chatty videos are so much more fulfilling for me to edit and stuff. Like, I like the normal, like, music ones, but I also love these, like, just to have a general chat. So I've just applied the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Foundation, which, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get the review video of that up for you guys before this video. So I'll link it down below. And then I've just put on the Huda Beauty... What's this called? The Overachiever Concealer in the shade Cookie Dough. Honestly, I don't know why I bought this shade because it's so dark for me. So I have to use it as like a base. I did actually just buy a lighter shade of Sephora because they were doing like a sale. So I was like, oh, I may as well just give that a go because I really like the concealer, but I've never been able to wear it on its own because the color that I have is quite dark. Like it doesn't look too dark in the camera, but you can tell that it's not how I normally have my concealer, if that makes any sense. And I'm just going to go in with Tarte Shape Tape. I think this is in the shade Light Medium Honey. So I think I'm going to do like another bridal makeup trial. Because honestly, I actually have no idea what's going on. Like, I truly just... I've never been so lost with everything in my whole life. Like, I just feel like at a loss in almost like every avenue of my life. And I know that sounds like really, really dramatic, but honestly, that's how I feel. Like I feel so lost. I was going to apply eye primer, but literally I just don't even know where it is. Like I am just so lost with everything. And I don't know like why, because like I feel like I don't really normally ever like get like this. Like I feel like if I'm in a funk, I'm only really in a funk for like a day or so. And then I kind of like chirp, chirp back up to like be my normal self. But this time it's like, it feels like it's been months of just being like really sad. Like, I don't know. I may or may not have just spilt tea on myself. So also I got this mug from TK Maxx forever ago and it is just the cutest cup ever. I think I need like one of those like child sippy cups or something. Like I cannot be trusted. But anyway, I'm going to blend this underneath my eyes. But yeah, I honestly have just never felt so lost in my whole life. And like, I even look back to the videos that I filmed, like when I first came back to YouTube, like this time around, like what, a few months ago. And like, I was like, oh my God, I look so sad. <laughs> like I look so miserable and I don't know why. Because like, honestly, I am so lucky in life. Like I have, I have the best friends ever like I feel like the friendship circle that I have now in my life is so small but I have never been more content with the friends that I have than I do right now and like my partner is like I am honestly the luckiest girl in the world like I found like literally my perfect match I found my perfect match in a partner and like every part of my life like every part of my personal life just feels so good you know and then i look back on the videos that i filmed in the last like few months and i'm like oh my god i look proper miserable which to be honest i was and i am like i actually feel so sorry for myself every day like there's like this numbness feeling in my chest that doesn't go away I don't know if they make this anymore, but this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I really like this for like highlighting the face. I really shouldn't have used that Too Faced stuff. I'm just going to apply a little bit to my chin and like the center of my face. You guys know what I do. I like this because it's quite thin while Tarte Shape Tape's very like creamy. And I'm not saying any of that for anyone to feel sorry for me or anything like that. But it's just like if you've seen my old videos... I am so sorry because I just felt so sad and I don't know why I don't think it was lockdown because I felt like that before lockdown so I don't know I feel like it's just because I've got 
actually let me just continue because if I just sit and just talk it's not gonna be fun it's literally we're all gonna be here for like hours you know what I've actually been loving for my under eyes is the Maybelline matte maker in the shade classic ivory pressed into my under eyes with a sponge and don't judge me okay my sponge is filthy or at least it looks really dirty but I've only used it a few times since I last washed it but pretty much I just rub it in and then like tap it a few times and then I press it underneath my eyes I used to do this in like my early 20s and then for some reason I couldn't get Maybelline matte maker anymore so I stopped doing it and I was talking to my friend Vicky and she reminded me of how much I missed doing that so I've been doing that and I've been absolutely loving my under eyes so all that money that I spent on translucent powders in my last haul I feel like was a complete waste because this is literally the best under eye powder don't get me wrong like I can use it to set my face so like it's definitely not gone to waste but like the purpose of me buying all of those different translucent powders was literally to find like the best under eye like setting powder and literally the bee's knees is the Maybelline matte maker you literally get 16 grams of product so I just really put that anywhere that I've highlighted or I kind of want to be brighter Sometimes if I'm either lazy or if I want a more natural look, then I will literally just conceal my under eyes, but then I'll use this powder to highlight the rest of my face and then set with a translucent powder. So like, for example, I didn't put any highlighter like here above my lip, but I have put this powder here so it's a bit lighter when it sets. Just because I want it to be like light and bright and stuff and oh my god, I look absolutely bonkers right now. I actually look like how I looked in like 2015 where I'd have like super light like here <laughs> it's almost like sunglasses like if you had like sunglasses on they got tanned but anyway at least that's how my cousins used to tease me about it okay using the Laura Mercier translucent powder but yeah I don't know what's going on like I just feel so lost and like I feel like good things are coming soon but it's like when because I can only deal with so much you know what I mean but all you can do is, at least all I tell myself is you need to just take it day by day. Good things will come soon. Just some days I just don't even know when that soon is. But yeah, like honestly, like right now I have such a small group of like people that I'm really, really close to. And to be honest, I've always been a bit like introverted. And funnily enough, like I actually started my YouTube channel to make friends and I feel like that was fulfilled because I literally made like I met my friend Vicky which honestly like she is an absolute oh my god what the f um I think someone almost hit them, like a car almost hit another car in front of my house so that was um great but yeah like I met my friend Vicky oh my god like literally I was so lucky to find her as a friend she doesn't live in the same state as me but oh my god like once lockdown is lifted because I think I can't have a hens party, so that's fine. Like, bigger issues, like, what was I trying to say? There's bigger issues in the world, but long story short, I don't think that I can have a hens party, which I'm not overly fussed about, but I would love, like, since lockdown and stuff, I would love just, like, a little getaway with, like, a few of my friends. And I was actually talking to one of my bridesmaids the other day, and I was like, how about we do, like, a post hens for me, and we go to Melbourne, so I can be... Like, so I can be with my friend Vicky because honestly, like, I don't know, like, she is just such a gem. And when I think of, like, really good times in my life, I actually remember, like, the, I think it was, like, a week or, like, around a week that she came to Sydney and we, like, hung out pretty much every day. Like, I took, like, a, a week off work. We hung out, like, pretty much every day. We went clubbing. We went to IMATS. It was literally so good. And... Honestly, to this day, it's still probably one of my best, like, favorite, like, adult memories. I know that sounds really, really weird, but, like, and, like, I didn't really go anywhere. Like, I just was in Sydney. Like, that's the city, like, close to where I live. But, honestly, it was, like, the, one of the best times, honestly. Like, when I think back to, like, when I was, like, one of my happiest times, it was definitely, like, 2016. And I actually cannot believe it's been that long since that trip. I've seen her since then, but I haven't seen her in a long time. Like, I'm talking, like, in the last two to three years. Which, to be fair, corona, but still. I'm just going to use my Anastasia brush in the number 12. Honestly, for, like, years, I was like, no way am I going to spend this much money on a brow brush. And 
then one day I decided to buy two of them. So don't even ask me what happened, but I ended up buying two. I should really have the spoolie. Like I actually think a firm spoolie is really, really good to have. And I don't mind the brush, but I'm also going to just be using my dip brow in medium brown. But yeah, I don't really know how I like started on that tangent. Oh yeah, small friend groups and like how I started like my YouTube channel to make friends. It honestly was to like, like I started YouTube to make friends and like, have like a makeup community with friends that also like makeup so like i found my friend vicky oh my god weird weirdly enough i actually watched her years before i started posting makeup videos and then i don't really know how we actually started talking but oh my goodness i am so glad that we did and then like my really really good friend yagma like i am so glad that i met her as well like like we're not as close as what we used to be because we used to see each other all the time because we both used to work like not close to each other but like kind of close so we literally used to go out and get pasta like once a week and we used to get into ice cream I was actually talking to her about that the other week um but now like I don't work anywhere near the city anymore um and neither does she but but we do try and see each other like every now and again but I talk to her like quite frequently and oh my goodness, like that is actually a friendship that I really do cherish as well. Like YouTube has actually brought me so many friendships that I honestly will treasure for the rest of my life. Oh my God, I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> but yeah, like I don't really have like, like I'm not a very extroverted person. So it was actually really random of me to start YouTube to make friends. But honestly, the friends that I have made through YouTube, I am so forever grateful, like honestly. But then there was also like random people that try to be friends with you just to like gain popularity. And honestly, like I'm not on YouTube for like the views or anything like that. I'm here for the community. If people want to reach out to me or if I want to reach out to people and we have like chats and stuff like that, I'm all there for it. But I'm not there for people that try to like, how do I word it? Like, engage with you to like I don't know like I want to be people's friends but I don't want to be taken advantage of if that makes any sense at all but yeah I remember when I first like started YouTube there were these girls and it was the most bizarre thing like I think they were like trying to scam people because they were like oh will you do a collab with me and then I would see other because I would always try to find people that started YouTube around the same time as I did like Yagba started around the same time that I did where the front of my eyebrow is really intense. That's why I love the good spoolie because it's able to actually like brush and remove product. While if you don't have a spoolie as firm, it will really just kind of like not do that. I really need to get a new camera battery because literally I can't even go like 15 minutes without it starting to flash. So if I randomly cut out and I come back, you know why. But anyway, I'm actually going to ask Yagma if she remembers that. But anyway, there were like these random people, not like random, like I watched them and then like they would start like messaging me and stuff like that and they'll try to do like collabs and whatever. Not like collabs, but like it was like when you would like feed, like you would kind of do like the same video and then you would shout the other person out. And I was kind of like, oh, that's really weird. Like, I would only really do that if they were my friend, you know, or like someone that I truly vouch for. And no joke, they ended up like getting like, at least from the people that I follow, they literally got like, I reckon like six or seven people to like share their like YouTube name. And then they never posted a single thing about them. They literally just ghosted the people. It was the most weird thing and I was so glad that I wasn't involved in it I don't actually know where I was going with that so I'm just gonna end that there because that was really that was a weird thing on YouTube like I guess like early on I already had to filter out like the fake people but anyway but yeah I think I want to start like filming like some homeware stuff and like that type of thing because me and my partner will be moving out soon sometimes I say my partner sometimes I say my fiance and sometimes I say like I call him by his name his name's Peter um, so if you hear me say like, oh, my partner or like this, that and the other, I don't know why, but sometimes like if I'm in a professional setting, I'll say my partner because you know, but then sometimes I'll just be like, oh yeah, Peter, blah, blah, blah. It really just depends on my mood and like who I'm talking to. But yeah, like 
what was I trying to say? Oh yeah, me and Peter, we're, we're going to be moving out soon. I know that I've been saying for ages that we're going to be moving out and yada yada yada, and we will. But at the moment, I am just really, really happy and really, really fortunate to be living like where I live with my mum and my dad and Peter as well. Like, I'm so glad that they like welcomed him into the home and like kind of allowed for us to like live together while we kind of like save for a deposit for a house and all that type of stuff. Honestly, like I love living at home with like my mum and my dad. Like, I don't know. I just love it. Like, I love my mum and I love my dad so much. And obviously, because, like, they're my parents. But, yeah. I don't know where I was getting with that. But, yeah. So, I kind of want to start doing some homeware hauls and stuff like that. I'm just going to use my Sweet Peach palette. And I'm just going to use, like, a whole bunch of random shades. Um, actually, no. This was supposed to be... I was meant to start filming so it could be, like, a bridal trial. So, I actually might not use this. Actually, you know what? No. I'll give it a go. I'm going to start off with this color in the corner here. And it's called Charmed, I'm sure. Can you even get this palette anymore? I literally don't even know. I'm just going to grab a little bit of that shade. And I'm just going to start by putting that on the outer corner of my eye. But yeah, honestly, like, I kind of want to start doing, like, more, like, homeware hauls and stuff. Because me and Peter, we're starting to buy stuff for when we move out. Like, kind of in preparation. So that, like, when it's time for us to move in, we literally don't have... Like, we don't have to go to the shops and, like buy a million things at once and also because like i'm obsessed with shop back so i always try to use like the like bonus shop back to like get stuff off like Maya and stuff if you guys haven't heard of shop back this is not sponsored i know people do do sponsorships or partnerships with shop back i don't um i'm literally just like and like i just love a sale okay i love a good deal i love a sale and honestly if i can save money or get money back in any way possible i will like I feel like I am such a bargain hunter when it comes to stuff like that. Like, I'm happy to, like, like buy, like, expensive makeup and do all this and do all that. But as long as I'm getting the best deal possible. But anyway, so when Shopback does, like, their bonus cashbacks and stuff like that, I've been taking advantage of it and just buying, like, small things here and there. So I kind of want to share with you guys, like, what I've been buying and stuff like that. So that when I move in, you're kind of all caught up to speed with what like I've bought for the home if that makes sense and then once I'm like I've been moved in I can just show you like bits and bobs that have like started to come through that I've ordered but yeah like shop back oh my god like if you haven't used it and you're from Australia you I don't know if they do it overseas but you need to get onto it I'll leave like my referral code down below so I'm pretty sure that you guys can get ten dollars for free once you've done like a certain amount of like valid orders and to be honest if you're buying stuff anyway you may as well take advantage of it that was like with me um for me when i joined they were like oh once you buy like x transactions you get five dollars for free and i think it's ten dollars now which is great um but you get five dollars for free they also have this cashback oh my god i'm gonna show you they've got this cashback troopers game and honestly i am obsessed i like I don't play it as much now just because I am so busy and so stressed. But sometimes where I just want to like just be calm and just have like a bit of a relax. I literally play this cashback troopers game, which I can't find on my phone anymore. So that's where the hell did it go? Did they take it off the app? Oh no, no, they didn't. It's just in a different spot. It used to be like, I'm just trying to see. Yeah, it used to be like down here, but they updated the app. So it's this Cashback Troopers game. And oh my God, it is so much fun. And like you tap to play and... Oh my God. I had to turn off the sound because that was just ridiculous. But yeah, like you kind of like... You can like... It's like one of those games where you kind of like match all the things together. And oh my God, I'm not even kidding you. Like sometimes where I just want to play a game on my phone, these are just the most like therapeutic things to play. <laughs> and you get points and you can like be entered in the draw to like win money and stuff. I've never won money from them, but I have saved so much money. And I love saving money wherever I can. Like I'm not even kidding you. I need to stop playing this game and get on with my makeup. Oh my God. But yeah, so shop back. Oh my goodness, it's actually one of my favorite like things. Like, whenever 
I'm trying to buy something, like whether that's Charlotte Tilbury, whether it's Sephora, Mecca's not on there, I don't think. At least I haven't seen it on there. Um, Woolies, actually no, Woolies is only on there sometimes and so is Coles. But like literally, like anything that I can, like if I'm buying something, I always check to see if it's available on Shopback, like the store. And yeah, so pretty much whenever Shopback is doing like a bonus cashback and there's already a sale going on, I will always try to buy like a few bits and bobs just so it doesn't seem like one massive transaction in one go. And I get it. Like I tried to explain it to my mom and she was like, no, because you would just be spending the same amount of money. But I was like, no, the cashback, it's not the same because sometimes they do a capped cashback. So like, say for example, it's 20% cashback for Maya but you like it's capped at $20. So realistically, if you spend a hundred dollars, you'll get $20 cash back. But if you spend $200, you'll also still get 20% cash back. So that's why I buy in like smaller little bits and bobs. If there isn't, um, if there is a capped limit, does that make any sense? I've also been obsessed with watching like budgeting videos on YouTube. I'm just going to use that charmed. I'm sure underneath my eyes as well. I think I'm going to buy an eyeliner for the wedding. Like I feel like, it would look nice to have like a pencil in there, but I don't know. But yeah, like I've been obsessed with watching budgeting videos. To be honest, it's not the type of video that I would post on the internet just because I personally don't want to put it out on the internet, like how much money I earn and stuff. But I've been absolutely obsessed with watching like people do it and like just their different techniques and stuff. Like it's really, really like, I feel like finances and stuff is like something that I absolutely love. Like I love reviewing my finances. I love seeing where like all my expenditure has been in the last month, stuff like that. I mean, it kind of makes sense why I like finance stuff. Cause I did major in finance at university, but anyway, but yeah, like overall, I just like seeing how people budget kind of just seeing like different people's outlook on money. Like, not like as in, in a financial influence type of way, but more so just in like a, how different people perceive different things in the world. Same with like, I don't know, just different philosophies and stuff. Like just different people's philosophies on like investing and finance and like how they budget, stuff like that. It honestly just makes me so intrigued. But if you guys do want me to share with you like how I try and save money, like on makeup, on general goods, all that type of thing, let me know. I'm more than happy to share with you guys what I do and kind of like what I look into and stuff like that. And then I'm going to use this shade here. It's called Luscious and oh my goodness, it is stunning. It's definitely like that beautiful... Oh my goodness, why are people like beeping in front of my house? But yeah, like it's just an absolutely beautiful like nude shimmery color i love it i wish they actually sold like i wish they actually would sell that in a single so i just did my mascara off camera so i could like charge my battery and stuff and now i'm just going to put on some model rock lashes these are a part of the fluffy line i think that these are the number fluffy ones but yeah i need to be slightly quick because peter just called me to say that he needs my help in about an hour with some stuff so I need to quickly finish this video and then film my review video because otherwise I will never get it out there because honestly it's been on my to film list for weeks like absolute weeks I actually really like this eyeshadow like considering it was only two shadows I actually really really like it to be honest this won't really work with like how it's going to look because I'm hoping to be more fake tan than this I don't know why, but my fake tan isn't that dark today. And I don't know, I am trying a new one and I'm not that happy with it. So I don't really want to mention it. And also I'm getting a breakout here. I'm going to use my Guerlain Terracotta Light Bronzer. This is in the shade number three Brunettes. To be honest with you, this one, I feel like I've never gotten to work with me, but I found it in my drawer again. And I was like, you know what? I need to give this bronzer another try because honestly, like, it feels like nothing happens with it. Like, it feels like no matter how much I swirl my brush in, nothing happens. Like, look, I will literally, like, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, I'm properly pressing it in. And look, I'll put it on my face. Watch, it'll actually be terrible now. But, like, look, it honestly feels like I do nothing. Like, it's honestly, like, the lightest thing ever. Like, look how much I had to dig to get that coverage. 
Oh, but I'm trying to use it because honestly, I spent so much money on it. It actually doesn't look too bad, but I literally have to dig in so much to actually get anything. And this is a clean brush, so it's not like it's from anything else. But yeah, like I literally have to like swirl my brush into it to get any like color payoff. And to be honest, I feel like, I don't know, like I feel like for the price, this is really not the greatest. I don't know. Like I feel like my $16 bronzer from Priceline, these, where is it? I had it just before. Like this soft touch bronzer from Models Prefer that you can get at Priceline. I think this is like a Priceline brand product. This is honestly so good, but I wanted to use this one today because honestly, like you can probably Google it. I think it was like 80 or $90, like full price. I think I must've paid like 50, a lot of money. And I feel like it doesn't really do much. I mean, I like the color ones on my skin, but you saw how much I had to dig to get any color payoff. I actually really do like the color though. Considering it is a warm bronzer, I didn't think that I would like it as much as what I do. I'm gonna grab a bit more and put it on this side. Just kind of like balance it out a bit. This I think will actually be like a beautiful bronzer for like summer, but I definitely wouldn't be paying, like I wouldn't be buying it again. Like the packaging is super luxe, but yeah, not for me, I don't think. Like not for like buying again. I think I was talking about this in like one of my last chatty videos, but I'm currently burning the Watermelon Candle by Palm Beach. Oh my God, I absolutely love that candle. It is gorgeous, like so beautiful. If you haven't smelt it and you have access to Palm Beach, they sell it at Maya and I think they sell it at like Flower Power and stuff. You need to smell the Watermelon Candle. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've gone through so many of those candles because honestly, it is the best candle. It makes me so happy. And also it is probably the best candle for burning because some candles that I really like, it's hit and miss if it burns well or if it doesn't burn well. Like, you know, when like the edges don't burn with every Palm Beach candle I've ever had, they've always burnt beautifully. Like just absolutely beautifully. Like there's two weeks and it's just great. Like I've had some candles that are like even like three wick candles and they don't burn properly. Like they might not be spaced out right or whatever. But honestly, every Palm Beach one that I've ever gotten has burnt superb. Like I haven't wasted any wax at all. I'm just going to use a little bit of Hoola Light to kind of like contour like under here. But I'm not going to do too much else to the face, I don't think. But I'm just going to grab a little bit of Hoola Light and maybe just a little bit of normal Hoola. Tap off the excess and then just run that under my jawline. I'm just going to grab a tiny bit on the same brush. I'm just going to do the hollows of my cheeks. Just to add a bit of depth. And a mozzie bit me on my lip, literally. Like, it's so itchy. I'm just gonna take a little bit of hula and just put it underneath my lip. Now for blush, I'm just gonna use dandelion blush because I haven't used it on its own in ages. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of California blush, which is this peachy one here, just kind of like on the apples of the cheek. Just super light, just a little bit of a touch. I'm gonna set my skin with the NYX Dewy Finish like setting spray and then I'll kind of like see if I wanna add highlighter to my skin or if I wanna just keep it like that. I actually really love how the eyes turned out. Like it's actually really, really beautiful. Okay, lips, I've got no idea what I wanna do but I do wanna wear a gloss. I think I want to wear Fussy Gloss from Fenty Beauty. Honestly, these are probably the only glosses that I actually really like. I do have this NARS gloss as well in the shade Chelsea's Girl. Actually, I kind of want to use this. I don't even know if this is still available, but this is really, really pretty. I'm not going to use lip liner today just because, I don't know, like, I feel like I never used to use lip liner. And I don't know. I just want to see if there's like a difference. I'm going to use the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Barbara. These are super, super pigmented. I don't know if they're worth the price tag though, like just being completely honest with you. But you also don't need to use a lot, like literally like one swipe on my bottom lip and then I rub my lips together and it literally provides such a nice, beautiful finish. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of Chelsea's Girl over the top. That's actually really, really pretty. I love that. I don't use this lip gloss enough. I used to wear it a little bit when I used to go into the office, but since then I just really haven't worn it much. Okay, I think 
that is me done i actually really love this eye look like i can't believe it's just two shadows but i love how it looks like i absolutely love it i love that luscious color probably could add a bit more shadow but i'm not going to touch it because i don't want to ruin it but yeah so i think that's it i hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like and subscribe if you have topics that you want me to talk about in my next video then definitely let me know in the comments down below and i'd love to kind of like share them with you guys and yeah i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video Bye.